Please welcome Kaylin Allen. So you're an honor student. Where yep. do you go to college? I go to Temple University. Okay, and you have how many jobs? I have five jobs. You go to college and you have five jobs. Yes. What are they? Okay, so I do all this because I, I want to make sure that my mother doesn't have to worry about me financially. You know, I try to be independent. So my first job is I am a front desk worker for the residence halls. Second job is I'm an Amazon Prime student brand ambassador. Um, I am also, I do marketing for the theater and film department. And then the fourth job, child, what is that one? <laughs> uh, Lord, I don't forget that. You do something for some medical things. Yes, well, that's the fifth one. Okay, so for that, I am a student um, standardized patient for the University of Pennsylvania and, and their medical school. Oh, yeah. isn't that clever? Yeah. And that's, that's fun, because you get to act and, you, and you're helping these, these medical students. Mm -hmm. So I'm worried about your fourth job that you're not showing up to. I, <laughs> maybe you haven't been there for a while, because how do you forget a job? Because it's so many. I know. And there's... I do them all. Oh, I remember it now. OK. I remember. What do you okay. do? I am a co-host for Temple Talk, which is a show on campus. You yes. forgot the, that you're a co-host on a talk show? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And what's happening? So you're living in the apartment complex down here. Yes. And you're having an issue with a neighbor. Okay. Yes, I am. Now look. Okay. So the other night I was laying in the bed, and I, occasionally I like to watch Beyonce concerts. Okay. And I was look. You know. <laughs> so I was watching Beyonce live at Rosalind, minding my own business. When all of a sudden I get a knock at the door. So I'm like, who is knocking at my door at 10 o'clock at night? I ain't got no friends in L.A. <laughs> so I said, I just, I sat there and I didn't say anything. I was like, maybe they're going to go away. But then they knocked again. So at this point, I turned off the TV, okay? I turned off the lights, but don't make no sense because clearly they're going to know somebody in there now. <laughs> and, and so I get up and I tiptoe to the door. And I look out the peephole and it's the security. So I open the door, I say, Hello. And she says that my neighbor has filed a noise complaint against me because of Beyonce. <laughs> I was furious. And I knew exactly the neighbor they was talking about. She got a lot of nerve because she got this dog that barks 24-7. And I never complained because you know what? I'm trying to be a good Samaritan. You know, I believe we need to be kind to people. Yes, yes. Yes. So, have you confronted her? No, I have not confronted her. I don't see her. Yep. I don't even think she really exists. Uh-huh. But that dog exists. That dog, yeah. <laughs> um, today, I, someone told me it's a special day. What's today? Yes, okay, so today is the one-year anniversary of my grandmother passing. So that's also partly why I have the suit on, because, you know, I'm presenting myself. But uh, the reason why that is important to me is because my mother always told me that our lives don't belong to us, but they belong to the people that believe in us, stand by us, and support us. So I want, I dedicate everything that I do to those two women. That's so sweet. Your mother sounds like an amazing person. Yes, I love her to death. Um, and, uh, and your grandmother would be very proud of you. I mean, look at what you've accomplished. It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. But where is the, uh, the fan that has a question? <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> This is Kaylin's mom, and uh... Hi! <laughs> When's the last... So he moved away. We brought him here. We signed him up right away. We found that guy, and we said, let's, let's sign him up. So we have him out here. We took him away from you. When's the last time y'all saw each other? I saw him at Christmas holiday time. Christmas, all right. Yeah. So we, we decided to surprise <laughs> you. It's, it, you know, it'd be a nice surprise to have your mom here. Thank you. Yeah. But thank you, so, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much. This has been an amazing okay. opportunity. Well, well thank he's, you, you are amazing. Be, well, you, you gotta be, amazing. he's amazing. Gotta be proud of him. So wherever you're going to dinner tonight, it's on us. Not too expensive, but go someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Sam, we gonna eat, honey. Now, you know what I love about our next guest is not only is he hilarious and talented, but he is literally one of the most genuine people that I know. Please welcome my friend, Kaylin Allen.
Man, what's up, man? How are you? I am excellent. I'm glad that you're here, man. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. You look wonderful. Thank you. You too. You too. And you know, if I'm sitting up here next to you, I got to have something on. You knew. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of everything that you've been doing. Like, because if I don't see you here, I'm seeing you all over the place. And I love it, man. I love it. Now, earlier this season, we had a very full circle moment. Yes. You actually hosted the show, man. What was that experience like? You know, well, first of all, having you here is great because I think, you know, as Two black men within the industry, mm -hmm. a lot of times we can be put against each Absolutely. other, you know? And I Absolutely. think what was great is that that's just not the relationship that we've created for each right. other. Right. And I think we turn to each other for a lot of things as we experience and navigate through the industry. Absolutely. And honestly, with being the guest host, it was the first time, because, you know, at first, I was a little worried that I was going to be stuck doing food videos, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I think with having the opportunity to do that, I was able to see exactly who I could be. You yes. know, I didn't want to be yes. 50 years old in the bed, you know, still talking about food. <laughs> That's not cute. <laughs> Absolutely. And as I, mean, I got to tell you, man, that, that like literally since I've known you, your ability to evolve and, and just kind of grow has been tremendous, man. I know your family must be proud, too. Oh, absolutely. You know, my mother right now is uh, going through chemo because she has breast mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. But I think it really helped because it gave her something to look forward to in the dark days. Right. And, you know, that she could, if she had just done treatment, she could turn on the TV and mm -hmm. see me host mm -hmm. the show or something like that. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy that I was able to do that for her. That's a beautiful thing. Now, you did, but even though you stayed here, you did eventually get to go home. I mm -hmm. understand you had a surprise for moms when you went home. Yeah, okay. So, I went home, and, you know, I walked around the house and stuff, and I was like, there's no reason why I should be in L.A. living better than you, essentially, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And I said, we got to change up some things. So, I got a landscaper. I redid the landscaping at Love the it. house, and I just started to upgrade the house because she was in there living like it was the 60s child, and that's right. not cute. <laughs> So, after doing that, and then also, so I got in the car at mm -hmm. the house, and mm -hmm. the engine light came on. Mm -hmm. And I said, lies you tell. So, I went and bought her a Tesla. Wow. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. We can pop for that. I'm sorry. We can make noise, man. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, we, got, we had a lot of time to, uh, to really talk and connect and get closer during the pandemic. Yes. You know, we, had, we did something really important on Juneteenth, taking over Ellen's account, right? We did. Yes. And honestly, it, I can honestly say that it was my favorite moment mm -hmm. since being here. Mm -hmm. Because we were able to talk about something that we have celebrated our entire lives, Absolutely. you know, that is deeply rooted in our culture because Juneteenth is a celebration of the emancipation of slaves. 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 And yep. we were able to have a real, authentic, and just honest conversation about it on one of the biggest platforms Absolutely. ever, you know? And I think it was just one of the most amazing moments. 100%. And I think also th those moments are so important because when you can connect with somebody and be, be unapologetic and talk about feelings that, that are real and, um, and know that you're, that you're not alone, no matter where you are on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that was important, too, because, you know, a lot of people know, know us fr from, from, the, from the Ellen Show, and, and, right. right? But And obviously, we bring light and love and things like that. So when we start talking about real things, mm -hmm. it can can seem like it's a little left. So it was re it was really great to connect with you on that level, man. I, I really do. And I and I just, yeah, I, I appreciate you so deeply, man. Thank and we you. listen. But listen, let's talk about this new season of OM Kalen. Yes. Fourth season coming. What can we expect, man? Well, I am calling it the reintroduction. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why. Because after this most recent Black Lives Matter movement, mm -hmm. I witnessed a lot of backlash. Mm -hmm. And I lost over maybe 100,000 followers and more. And it was crazy to me that all these people who had said that they loved me so much, mm -hmm. all of a sudden were turning against me because I was speaking about a situation that directly affects my life on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. People very much started to operate in a place of shut up and entertain me. Right, right. And Kaylin don't play them games. Right, absolutely. I don't do that. Of course. And so I said, something needs to change right here, right now. And so I decided that I wanted to revamp on Kaylin. I also wanted to relaunch my YouTube and start a podcast. So Very nice. See, I'm excited. I, I, I love that. You know why I love that is because the the voice continues to extend, right? Yes. Like I feel, and, and it's very it's very important to say because um, we as as entertainers and as people are not a monolith. We're not, we're not. A, a, and also as black people, we're not a monolith, right? Absolutely. So even though you might know us for entertainment, that's not the only thing in our lives, exactly. right? What's next? Okay. 
thought, I really want to do a Disney movie, okay? okay? I think I could play like Dory's cousin or okay. something. <laughs> but I really, 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 really want to do Dancing with the Stars. Baby, I would cut that yes. floor up, okay. okay? Now, this is the problem, though. Okay. So, you know, the man is supposed to be the support, right? right. I don't want to do that. I want to be picked up. I want to be glided across the floor. <laughs> I want the flowy costumes and everything, so I would have to be delayed. Okay, cool. Listen, it's 2020. Period. <laughs> Anything can happen. Okay. I love it. Listen, you have come a long way, my friend, and I'm so excited for everything that you have in the future, but, you know, we got to look at the past and this flashback Friday. Uh -huh. So I'm about to... Uh, I found some photos of you, Kayla. Oh, my God. I found some photos that we're about to share right now. Okay. Um, flashback Friday. All let's right. See, let's, see, let's see this first. Let's see. Let's see it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Do you see that eye? Where does that eye go in? <laughs> that is Lucy the Lazy Eye. In that fishing pole. Wait, but Kayla, do you fish? No! <laughs> you know these school pictures, they be like, grab a prop, and you know, back then, it's like, ooh, you a boy, so you must fish or something. What the hell? You know, but that was for kids, so I guess that was on brand. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Let's see the next one. Oh. oh now, that was cute. Kevin was really nerdy back in the day, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. Did you fold that origami yourself? You no, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> That's not mine. Mm -mm. All right, let's see the next one. OK, oh. talk to me about this. What is this? <laughs> So this was Spirit Week, uh -huh. and it was Celebrity Impersonation Day. And this was when I didn't have no money. I, I was broke. So I uh, <laughs> came as Beyonce. That's okay. supposed to be That's Beyonce. That's Beyonce? OK. But I got to say, there's, there's been, listen, t some time has passed. Yes. And you definitely redeemed it with this next one. Look at this. So Beyonce, pow. That's called a glow up right there. Get into them hits. Yeah. Get into them yeah. hits. Now, that's it. That's, that's it, yeah. it. That's it. That's the way you do it. That's it. Now, but I knew about this, so I got some pictures of you, oh, too. Oh, boy. All right. Roll on. Oh, oh babe. Oh. Now, where, was you going to church? <laughs> no, that was my seventh grade picture. That's seventh grade? That's seventh grade. You look fully grown. <laughs> oh. Oh, OK. All right, seventh grade people. Where the next one at? Oh, man. I, what happened? I, I, don't, I was being an artist. I don't know. An like, artist? I, yeah. Maybe you look like a black Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> that look, hair. I, look, I'm not going to lie. I, I felt during the time, though, like, you can relate with this. I felt during the time that was the coldest picture I'd ever taken. Like, oh, I was can the tell, coldest. baby. And that smiles and them contacts you got here with them gray eyes. You know black people ain't got no gray eyes. The lies are fair. Oh, man. Now y'all can see why I love, I love this guy. I love you so much, man. Zed, how you doing, Mama E? I'm doing fantastic. You look fantastic. And I have to say, first of all, um, I, I thought you were talented when we saw your videos. I thought you were really creative. I had no idea how talented you were, and I think we got so lucky by finding you and signing you, because we Thank are so you. happy. I love seeing you around here. You're fantastic. Thank you so much. No, you really are. I think you've kind of just really surprised all of us. You just keep stepping up and impressing us more and more and more. It's been an amazing year, right? Yes, it absolutely has. And honestly, you know, my favorite part is that I get to see you every day. Yeah. You know, that's a blessing in itself. And you know what? I've learned is that we have a lot in common. What is that? Okay, so the first thing is that we both like to stay at home. Uh -huh. We're homebodies, yes. you know? We yes. like to keep it simple. Second of all, per Relatable, watch on Netflix now, shameless plug, <laughs> we have the same go-to song, Back That Ass Up. That's right, Juvenile yes. Back That Ass Up. Yes, baby, it's lit. Every time that song come on, I'm always ready. I and know. And the third thing is that we both have expensive taste. The only difference is you can afford it. <laughs> So this is a, another really big milestone for you. Yes. And you're fine with us talking about this, yes, obviously. Yes, absolutely. So you have officially come out. Yes, I have. Yeah. And I, I did it for me. But honestly, no matter what anybody had already assumed, it was honestly the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life. But I did it because growing up, there just aren't a lot of people that look like me that are out. And I think with the platform that you have given me, I just hope that I can inspire others to live their most authentic selves every single day. That's all I want. Yeah. That's all I want. You know, yeah. And it doesn't matter what people's assumptions are or whatever it is, until you actually, it is a hard thing to say those words. It it's is. a really difficult thing the first time you actually say, I am gay. Right. Because, and it's, was it emotional for you to say that? 
It was emotional because I, I did it while I was on the plane, but I couldn't sleep the, the night because yeah. it, it was a lot of weight. And I think what was most important for me was that 2019 for me needed to be about self-love. I wanted to accept myself. So it wasn't about anybody else accepting me or approving of who I am. It was more so for myself. Right. Yeah, and that's a hard thing to do because, yes. like I said, you know, you just, you, you, you can easily stay quiet and let people think what they mm -hmm. want, but to actually own it and say it is a, is a really, it's a brave thing to do. Yep. So, well, I mean, you yeah. paved the way, darling. Well, I don't, that many, many people paved the way. Mm -hmm. I'm one person. So here's another thing we want, we love to send you to do different things. Yes. We're going to send you to New York to cover Fashion Week because that's what you should be doing. Oh, baby. But you're also going to walk in a major fashion show. Stop. You are. What? I'm not going to tell you which one, but you're walking in a major fashion show. Ella, wait, because you know I don't cry, but that actually just got to me a little All right. <laughs> now. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. A few weeks ago, I told you we were going to uh, send you to New York, and you are going to mm -hmm. walk in uh, New York Fashion Week. Yes. So we figured that you could use some help from an expert. do's and don'ts that I should and should not do? No, you know what? Okay. It's all about having your signature thing and being confident. Okay. I don't think there's really a right or a wrong. It's just you got to do your thing. Great. But I want to see your walk. I actually know who you're walking for at Fashion Week, Sorry, and Ellen wanted me to tell you. Who? Christian Cowan. <laughs> oh my gosh, hi. How are you? Oh, good. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. Do you know how much I love you? <laughs> I'm obsessed. A so I'd love you to try on this full look first. Okay. Boom. Let's do it. Fab. Are you happy? It'll look good. I'm just happy to be walking. I wouldn't care if you put me in a trash bag. I would not care. I love it. Great. Look at that skin tone. That chocolatey goodness, honey. I look like caramel. Oh, she got the baby oil. Honey, please. Because I can't go out there looking like a chalkboard. <laughs> Absolutely not. Thank you so much. What's your name? I don't even know your name. You'll be touching on my leg. Girl, I don't even know your name. All right, everybody, so we're about to walk out. I'm anxious a little bit, but it's okay because as soon as I walk out on that stage, all I'm gonna say to myself is, Kaylin, be a bad bitch. you can beat that out. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a line of highlighters. just dressing like this because he's on the show. This is how I, I enjoy what you wear to work every single day. Thank you. Well, I try to dress to impress every day. You know, if you look good, you feel good. You know? you, yeah, you, you do. You look good and you feel good. Thank you. All right, so it's been a big year. You were in a Seth Rogen movie, mm -hmm. and uh, your, your videos have been over, viewed over half a billion times. <sighs> Half a billion views. I know, it's crazy. That's amazing. And then we sent you to New York to yes. do the fashion show. Yes. How did you like that? It was amazing. And you know what's crazy is that when I was a kid, I was told that I would never be able to model. But you made it happen. Honestly, I think you're basically my fairy godmother. Uh -huh. And I think it's a testament to my life that anything is possible. Hey, y'all. I'm Kaylin. I'm Claudia. And we are at Broadway at the beach in Myrtle Beach. And we going to have us a good old time today. But, uh, Claudia, what's going on, baby? We're on vacation. You on vacation trying I... to find a man, aren't you? I am. But anyway, let's go. Boats make me feel bougie. They are very bougie. Okay. All right, you guys ready for a little ride? We're yeah, ready. we ready. We about to go on a little cruise on the lake.
so much. Okay. Get your equilibrium That's together. Okay. Now we got some food and we're gonna eat while we in the sky. We gotta take this off. Look how beautiful this it is. Isn't it? It is stunning. Sweet. I mean, what a view. Now we got hush puppies, fried green tomatoes. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, what we got next? Well, uh, the funnel cake. You know, funnel cake is dessert. Why don't we try an oyster first? You got this. Let's put the. Okay, come on. Tell me how you're supposed to eat this. We're gonna loosen. Ooh, ooh. You're gonna do what? We're gonna loosen it up. You're gonna loosen it. Why yep. need to be loosened? Because sometimes they're attached. Here we go. Here I thought we go. this was Ellen, not Fear Factor. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. Oh, they got a slingshot. Ooh, we should do that. I know, we should be on the slingshot. I'm a little nervous. I ain't never done that like this before. Oh! 